believe it! Reverse it! Whoa, I wish I could try all that. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, Internet. I'm going to load up Windows in my browser here for a second. Don't mind Microsoft. Yeah, that's right. First, we're going to look at Windows 1.01. .01. Right here in the browser, you can go to jsmachines.net to check this out. It's pretty cool. Now, most people didn't use Windows 1. Most people became aware of Windows existence around Windows 3. That's my experience anyways. So let's take a look at this. Okay, first notable thing, no icons really. We're just looking at a list of programs. There's some things that are familiar here. We've got a, a font that's probably Helvetica. Let's see if I can launch that. Nope. So we've got random documents just thrown into the main directory along with programs. Pretty weird. Organization wasn't really a thing. Are there even folders? Is that possible? I don't know. Okay, so it's a little quirky running stuff like this in a browser. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm I'm just the worst. Okay, here we go. Here's the MS DOS executive, as we can see. Let's see if there's something a little more fun to run. Uh, let's check out a uh, paint.exe. So that was a to-do list someone made for some reason. And now we've got paint. Paint, of course, is a program you remember from your childhood, uh, drawing things in color that are terrible. Maybe it's not from your childhood. Maybe you remember doing it like last week. So we've got the pencil. A little delayed. Working though. Okay. Draw a little stick dude, maybe. Yep. Okay. Check that out. He's got a little tiny leg, then I'm gonna give him a circle head. Remember the circles? Okay. Okay. Ah, he's got a huge friggin' head. Okay, so that works. So that's a paint, pretty much how you remember it. Uh, not a lot. Whoa! What was that? It's like R2D2's pissed at me. A uh, reversey. Let's check that out. Yeah, kind of weird. Everything's just kind of randomly thrown into the same folder. I am terrible at reversing. I'm actually a world unchampion. Yeah, yeah, okay. Precursor has to be across. Got it. Yep, okay. What are you going to do about that? You're going to take all my stuff. Good, good move. At least you didn't freak out and make a sound again. Okay, so that's that. You can try this at jsmachines.net. You can see the URL above. A little bit frustrating because of the mouse not quite getting to the corner to close stuff. But yeah, worth checking out. Oh, well, that's already a much more pleasant sound. Gonna try out Mac OS System 7 here. You can find it at jamesfriend.com.au. Welcome to Macintosh. I feel welcome. As you can see, this one's got like a little graphical decal around it. I'm just feeling much calmer than I was trying Windows. So this is graph Mac OS 7. I think it's circa 1991 and we're going to check it out here. Uh, right away you can see black and white system similar to before. Menus working. Okay. Very similar to OS X actually. There's a lot of elements here that are going to be familiar to you. Uh, certainly more familiar than Windows 1 is. Uh, Windows 3.1 I think you could see more of these elements but it's Windows 95 kind of set the paradigm people are used to today. But this kind of the same structure they use today for Mac. Anyways, let's check this out, shall we? Uh, games, of course, is what I'm going to click first. I'm going to go for it right away. We've got some shuffle puck going here. Let's see what we've got in this little area here. Taking a while to load. Okay, we've got 3D World. Whoa, okay, okay. So I'm the puck. Got it. Ha! Ha, take that, computer. Going for it. I shattered this. Ah, oh, he broke my screen! Hey, broke my screen! Okay. Okay. He's nervous. He's nervous. He knows what I'm gonna do. He's like, ah, I got it! Ah, ah. Okay, okay, okay. You got me that round. That was your. That was good. Okay, here we go. Yep, you can't get my bouncy bucket! Can't get my bouncy bucket! Okay, okay. That's okay. I'm gonna gather myself. I've never played this before. Gonna get. Right there. Yep. Oh, oh. Slow, slow, slow. Calm. Slow and steady wins? No. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That was a stupid thing to say, Justin. Stupid. Here we go. Hit it. Hit it. And I lost. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's look at the app. So this one comes with a lot of freeware that was available at the time. You can explore it. Again, jamesfriend.com.au. Oh, we've got Microsoft Word. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's see what that looks like. Microsoft Word for Mac circa 1991. Whoa, that's a cool logo. So this is typing, this is type, this is type. Let's see, we've got, uh, you know, Helvetica's there. Everyone loves Helvetica. I mean, if you don't, you're stupid. And no Comic Sans, so that's a plus. And we've got uh, Times, just plain old Times. No New Roman yet, this is before then. So that's pretty cool. And as you can see, you've got the open window 
open a folder, it opens a new window for it. Old school Mac stuff going on here. Orion, let's check that out. Uh, you know, planets. I guess we're seeing where they are right now. Pretty cool, so that's it. You can check out uh, this URL's up there, jamesfriend.com.au. It's not uh, my friend James, because then this would be terrible. Okay, so a lot of people might not realize this, but it hasn't always been strictly PC versus Mac. There used to be other systems that competed with them, and perhaps one of the most successful was the Amiga. I'm emulating this now online. It's at, well, you can see the domain up there. It's a little long. So this is the Amiga desktop. This is what it looks like. You can explore the uh, workbench to start with. Workbench 1.3 is what we're looking at here. It's a little slower to load than some of the other things we looked at, but it's still all here. Uh, let's see what is under utilities. Again, it takes a little while. Well, of, of course, I'm going to look at the clock. I mean, duh, clocks are just the most fascinating thing in the world. Look at that. It's a friggin' clock. And no system has managed to be this intriguing ever since. Uh, what else we got? There's a calculator, you know. So totally, kind of similar to the Max layout, I would say, in terms of the way folders open. But it's definitely its own thing, too. Let's see if it can multiply. 6 times 6 is 36. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, the calculator works. There is, in this particular emulator, something called First Demos. I believe these were included to show off the capabilities of the system if you were, like, say, I don't know, in a store trying to sell them. This must have been really amazing circa 1991. Uh, here is one of my favorites, Speech. This is the Commodore Amiga Personal <coughs> Computer Speaking. It actually is pretty impressive for the time it came out. Yep. So feminine. Yep. Why would anyone want you to speak slowly? Why would anyone want that? That. Wow. Expressive. And speak in a just like a real so I'm, I'm picturing someone clicking this speech bubble in like a store and everyone being like, holy crap, I got to see that. I got to get one of these Amigas. That seems amazing. And then there's a uh, boxes, which displays the amazing graphics of the future. It's so cool. There's another one like that here. There's uh, dots. You know. <laughs> It's amazing that I'm running this in a browser, in an emulator. Oh, uh, what else we got here? Oh, Juggler. This is awesome. So this is purely made, I think, just to sell the system. It takes forever to load. Uh, again, you can see the, the individual frames of this movie are being fetched from disk, so it's taking a while. The images were generated using a standard Amiga with 512K memory. So they're trying to show off what you can do. The amazing computer-generated graphics you can make with your Amiga in 1986. Press any key to start. I will. Whoa. That's actually legit pretty awesome. Okay. That's enough of that. How do I get out of here? Yup, yup, he's juggling. Is there a way to exit? Nope. This is all this computer does now. This is all an Amiga can do. Juggling marbles. Forever. Thanks for watching. And, and we wrap up this session of checking out online emulators with DOS. Probably the least interesting thing you could imagine, right? Well, this one's a little different. It's again from uh, jamesfriend.com.au. It's got DOS, but it's not just DOS. Check this out. I can do CD Wolf, not a big deal, right? But then I can actually run wolf3d.exe. And if any of you had a DOS computer in the early 90s, you know what is about to happen, yeah. This is, again, running completely in my browser. It's loading the game up completely. Uh, guess it's not detecting a sound blaster. That's okay. We'll make our own sounds. Wolfenstein, the demo, is running in my browser in an emulator. I, it's pretty fantastic that this even works. Again, it just includes the demo version. Uh, I, I'm going to bring them on. Go ahead and bring them on. I'm going to just... Uh, Let's see how well the frame rate works. It's a tiny on the screen here. Resolution, much lower back then. Much lower, not going to take up a lot of space in a browser. 
Uh, it's not. It's amazing how much this isn't maxing out my system, though. I've got like a full system here. Oh, can I open the door? I can open the freaking door. Going in. The 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 lack of sound. Oh, Nazis. Okay, well that's it. That's a uh, you know DOS with games running in a browser. Not bad. Thanks for watching. You can check out the article where I post screenshots and direct links to all this and more in the, uh, the, the, the thing, the area down below. You know, the description.